I talk about cutting retractors to make occlusal views easier to capture because the retractors get in the way to get it to capturing you know the most ideal occlusal view in a lot of patients so this is the way I do it just to show you I have one cut already and um, you'll see one side of one arm has been cut off and so what I want to do is I'm going to do another retractor uh, so that there'll be a set you have to make sure that you cut the right side you don't want to cut the same side on both retractors because then you wouldn't be able to use it so in order to do that, just I'm going to make sure uh, I just mark the side of the retractor I'm going to cut. So let's just draw a line through it just to just so I don't mess that up. I messed it up before. That looks right to me. Okay, now let's use a diamond disc in the lab. A mandrel. Then I'm just going to follow the line that I've drawn for myself. Got a little, a little pieces hanging off there. I'm just gonna grab those and kind of peel those off. All right, and uh, I've got some acrylic polishing burrs here. So I'm gonna take the uh, coarse one first, remove the sharpest edges. retractors done so they'll hold the lip out of the way upper lip or lower lip without the retractor without the mirror being in the way so you get the most ideal occlusal view I cut universal retractors in this case so that we can in one pack have retraction for the alternate views maxillary mandibular teeth you know frontal and lateral views and then the, you can just flip it around to the cut side to get your your occlusal views all with one retractor that's the way you do it